Hey beer lovers, today we are here at uh, Superflux Brewing and they have got they have got some hauntingly amazing brews. So I'm here with your favorite duo, Mr. Taster. And, and I might be locked up, but we have some amazing flavors to go check it out. I'm locked up, but we gotta go check it out. Let's do it. So guys, we are inside Superflux Brewing. Look at this. It's like an ultimate beer lab. This whole place screams like we are serious about our beer. Those steam tanks over there is where the mad scientists over here work hard to brew the perfect beer for thirsty people like us. And those seating? Oh man, this place is like the MVP of beer enjoyment. I mean, it's so spacious and comfy that I think um, even even they are up for a challenging joke. In fact, I see a chair right there uh, giving me a hoppy joke. You get that? Hoppy? Yeah. You're on fire, bro. <laughs> and look at the taps here. They are superheroes in disguise. Ready to save the day. And should I say also night? So Out of Flights is here and our first one is Experimental number 46. Check this out man, the name is Experimental number 46. Experimental, that sounds like a science fair of beers. What's the scoop with that? Let's try this out and see. Yeah. Mm. Ah. It's like they raided a dry hopped truck with a Simcoe, Cryo and IPA and the dry hopped IPA. It's like a hop orchestra. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. symphony of hops. Uh, so what are, what are we conducting some flavor <laughs> experiment here? Absolutely. So get ready for a taste explosion. This is quite bitter. What's your take on this? I'm gonna rate it seven on 10. Yeah, I think that's about right. Uh, hazy for the hazy APA, but a seven on 10 is a, is a good, good count on this. Cheers guys. So here is a super flux lager. Very hazy, very murky, unlike your typical lager, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's give this a shot. Mm. Interesting. So it feels like they took the very essence of a cold and turned into a flavor. So hot with uh, citrus pulp and the sauce, this lager is like a chill pill for your taste buds. At 5% ABV, it's colder than a penguin's vacation spot. Oh, absolutely. This lager is so refreshing. It's like a polar plunge on your palates. And those hops, they're like ice cubes in a flavored pack snow cone. Um, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, very lightly said. Light beer, I'm gonna rate it 8 on 10. 8 on 10 for me too. Cheers. So the next one is a Peacock brand. It's a pretty funny name, right? Peacock brand? It's it's this beer strudling its thing? <laughs> oh, you have no idea. So this prisoner looks like a beer version of flamboyant Peacock. I'm gonna try it out and let you know how it is. Mm. So, brewed with floor malted prisoner and the Saz hops, this beer is putting on quite a show like a flamboyant Peacock. Yeah, 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 for sure. For this kind of beer, I mean, this is a feathery fiesta of flavors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are in for we are on a we are in for a feathery fiesta flavor now. I'm gonna rate it a little watery for me. I'm not really impressed, but I'm still gonna give it like seven and a half on ten. Uh, I would, I think uh, this one for me is more eight on ten um, uh, for the kind of pills. I'm not there right there, but it, it's done its job. I think the heater above us is kind of making this beer warm, so that shaved off half a point from this rating. <laughs> so there you have it guys, Super Flux Brewing Company. Uh, this was an amazing uh, adventure with we tried from a lager to Hazy Pale Ale. Each sip was its own chapter. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Hit the like button and subscribe to us. Until next time, keep those taste buds curious and pints raised high. Cheers.